Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It's my top 10 toy grade micro quads. All right. And a few nanos mixed in, but no big deal. So I'm going to break these down. Top 10, then top five, and then four, three, two, one. You know, run some video, tell you guys about the specs. All right. So that should be fun. But check it out. I left a couple of these out, which is the Tello, which is toy grade. But you know, a little higher end than these guys, wouldn't be fair. And also my X4 Storm, I left out of this little contest because yeah, not too fair if I put these ones in there, all right? All right, so sit tight guys, I'm gonna be back and uh, take a look at these guys. All right, so let's start with the Ishin E013. This thing is awesome, man. One of the best beginner quads right out there. there. It's a tiny whoop, right? Very fast, very smooth, very maneuverable, all right? Three speeds, um, 800 TVL camera, all right? 5.8 gigahertz, so you can fly it with your goggles. I mean, this is definitely one of the best beginner quads out there, without a doubt. All right, so here's the Broadream S9W. This thing is a really yeah, no, great quad. It has altitude hold, it's very fast, it's foldable, go, all right? Um, nice and portable, really small. Um, the range is great. I went at least 80 meters with this thing. And you can also fly this thing with your phone. The app is great. I mean, it also has a G sensor too, so you can fly it, it with steady. your phone and actually, you know, turn like this and that. I mean. It, this was really fun when I got this thing and it is really affordable. So this is definitely a good one. All right, so check out the Ishin E57. Love the design. It's foldable. They pop out just like that. Has a 720p camera, okay, you know, you, you can fly it with your really phone and it comes with a separate little slim remote, just All like right. this thing, yeah, you nice. know, you can slide them both in your pocket, altitude hold, Man, this thing is a great buy. Um, I like how portable it is, flies great, nice and smooth. Yeah, this is definitely a good one. All right, so let's check out the Mirror Robot S60. This thing is super smooth, super durable, 720p camera, 5.8 gigahertz. This is one of the best things to train on, man. Very smooth, very stable. Um, comes with its own remote too. You know, a lot of these, Things that are 5.8 gigahertz don't have their own remote so this comes with its own remote it's kind of big but it's pretty good man this is very very smooth very stable i fly it around the house all the time and outside in low wind very good flyer the fury b f36 man i love this thing i put a camera in this a while back you guys might want to check that video out the fpv camera flew it around the house a whole bunch of times man this is great i still have the the connection if I wanted to slap the camera back in. This thing is so fast, so fun, so maneuverable. I mean, this thing is great. I have a lot of fun with this thing. All right, so this thing is one of the best in terms of these toy grade, tiny whoop style quads. All right, so let's check out the Flytech T18D. This thing is a great bird, okay? 720p camera, all right? Wi-Fi FPV, you can fly it with your phone. You know, it has, right. comes with its own right, remote, baby. has great range, has a micro SD card slot here. Solid. All right, um, three rates, oh, yeah. very fast, very smooth, has altitude hold, has some nice, nice lights in the front and the back. Man, overall, this thing is just one special bird. I love this thing. The Hubson H002 on my left and the Ishin E10C on my right, all right? Both of these are awesome. I love them both. They both have 720p cameras. Both have power switches. They both have uh, micro USB card slots. They both fly great, all right? This one um, flies a little bit better than this one. This one's camera is a little bit better than that one, all right? Um, the range is better on the Hubson H002 and on the Ishin, not far at all, all right? so. I don't know, I gotta decide which wow. one of these guys, you know, I kinda like better, but you know, they're both great. I love them both, man. Both nice nanos. 
All right, so you guys may remember this one, the MJX X900. I don't know why it's the 900, it's the smallest of three, but whatever. This thing is super fast, man, very stable. It's a hexacopter. I had to put this thing, you know, on the list, man. Look at it, this thing is nice. And it's a nice night flyer too. These lights all light up pretty bright for such a small quad. So, yep, this is an oldie but a goodie. Saima X11, classic. Man, I love this thing. I put a 5.8 gigahertz FPV cam in this thing not that long ago. Flew it around the house, flew it in the park. Man, that thing is great. I still have the connection inside there just in case I want to throw the camera back in. Um, very smooth, very stable, very maneuverable. Um, geared motors, love this thing, man. I mean, it is great. I even put a power switch on this thing, you know? As I do with a lot of my quads. Windy, yeah, man. this had to be in the top 10 for sure, man. All right, now it's time to choose the top five. And this is in no particular order right now. All right, I'm choosing the Fury B F36, the Flytech T18D, the uh, Broadreams S9W. My Saima X11 and the Mirror Robot S60. All right, love you guys, but not choosing you all right now. All right, so these are the top five, man. The top five. All right, check it out. This is the countdown from number five to number one. All right. Coming in at number five, we have the Broadreams S9W. Great quad, love this quad, lots of fun. Number five, all right. All right, so number four, we have the Fury B F36. Very maneuverable, lots of fun, fly it all the time, put my own camera in this thing, this thing, is great love it so now we have the top three the flytech t18d cymax 11 and the mirror robot s60 all right so here we go in third the mirror robot s60 great beginner flyer solid as a rock 720p camera great beginner fpv flyer 5.8 gigahertz love this thing all right top two all right here we go number two is the saima x11 old faithful this bird is awesome put my own camera in this thing this is great stand the test of time this thing is great i love it but number one is the Flytech T18D. This thing has everything. I broke the specs down before. We're talking 720p camera, fast, smooth, lights. Um, it has a micro SD card slot. I mean, this thing has everything. You know what I mean? The Wi-Fi FPV is good. I mean, you can fly it with your phone. I mean, they packed everything into this thing and it's not very popular. Not many people have it. You know, it's a little old, I guess, but uh, you know, not that many people, ha people have this thing, but it's a great bird. Overall, I think this is number one in my toy grade micro collection. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video.